Yeah, it's time for interactive. We are at day eight of our 12 days of Chris Max promotion. Missed your chance to win a West Indies cricket jersey that was yesterday. Have no fear, Santa is here. Well, not exactly, but tell us how many Rush Sports channels are available in the Sports Max app. Head over to the 12 days of Chris Max chat on the Sports Max app to drop your answer now. And also check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. Like that interview we just did with Jaden Ebert. Moving along, let's take some responses to our segment discussing the All Manning and all the Costa selections on Tuesday's show. The CC team is an All D Cup team. No Hull? I'll respond to that one shortly. Is that it? STGC Taylor, big miss. Yeah, we spoke about that. All Clarendon defense. Yeah, from Shatterdoors says All Clarendon defense. Yeah, so the point about Christopher Hull not being in the All the Costa team, Lance, we didn't discuss this yesterday. Um, but from my understanding, he will be unavailable for the game, and that's the reason um, he was not selected to the squad. Now, there is a feeling that it shouldn't be that way, that you should name an older Costa, all Manning squad, um, and if players are unavailable, then you can replace them later on. But um, there should be some significance about just being named to the squad, whether there's going to be a game or not. Yeah, I think I agree with that because um, it is a, a, a notch on your CV yeah. as, as a sports star to have uh, an accolade like that and to have yourself named in an old Acosta team. Um, in US coverage of sport, we see all stars and Hall of Famers constantly being referred to as such because they, they earned it. So, you know, it is, it is significant and I think even if the player is unavailable, if they are deemed good enough to be selected, they should be named the Alder Costa team. And then, you know, if they aren't able to play, that's a different matter. I agree with you. Yeah, it has been reported that Manchester United have received offers from Real Madrid and Barcelona for Mason Greenwood. PSG and Chelsea are also following him, but the Spanish giants are the first to make concrete offers. What are persons saying on Twitter? Joe, if these clubs are really in for him, surely we have to rethink the situation. It's, I know it's rumors, but imagine being stuck with Anthony and Pelestri when you loaned out one of your best right wingers. Mm. ODF, Manchester United is the most unserious club in world football. Kyron, really don't want to sound insensitive here, but surely if all these huge clubs are willing to take the risk, why is it so unacceptable that we do so? We be Manchester United from a pure footballing perspective, it seems stupid to let someone of his talent go to another big team. Is that a big question mark there? Roy Chow, M Tax, imagine you upgrade from Manchester United to Real Madrid. Hansen, if this brother ends up at Madrid, bro, madness. Manny Valentino, please, I beg you, don't be stupid and sell at Man United. Yeah, mm. Griezmann said he was unplayable yesterday, yeah. Lance Whitaker, and he is showing the quality that we know of Mason Greenwood. Yeah, well, when we discussed it on the Sportsmax Zone, um, Man United offloading him, it was a very intense topic. And I remember Brent Sancho um, very strikingly making the point that he didn't think that Manchester United handled the situation fairly. And he wasn't talking only about Mason Greenwood's quality, you know, just as a, as a, as a, as a star at the club. Yes. And um, I think the quality of his play adds to the point that Brent was making. So serious times here for Man United, especially in these struggling periods for them. Yeah, quickly, I don't suspect that Manchester United will want to sell him given the form that he's currently showing and yes. the fact that he is showing that he still has tremendous quality as to whether he'll want to return to Manchester United. Yeah, that may though, be an issue. Given how he was treated, treated yeah. I think is where the real discussion is going to be at.
for Mason Greenwood. I don't know who is going to be JFF president um, after the 14th of June, but Michael Ricketts Just is the January. president. No, oh, January. Oops, <laughs> did I say June? Thank you, Lance. January. So whoever has the power better be talking to him. Mm, reggae boys, Mason Greenwood in the lineup. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it for Wednesday, abbreviated version of the Sports Bank Zone. We'll be back on Thursday while Mariah is away in Trinidad having all the fun in the world. Lance and I here working, working, working. 4.30 p.m., 5.30 ECT, full show on Thursday. <laughs>